What's growing on, gardeners? On today's Two Minute Garden Tip, I'm going to show you a big problem some growers encounter when growing grafted fruit trees. Don't make this big mistake because it could set your tree back for years. Almost every backyard gardener should be growing grafted fruit trees, not growing fruit trees from seed. That's because grafted fruit trees have enormous advantages versus seed grown fruit trees. A grafted fruit tree takes rootstock chosen for special purposes such as size control, soil type tolerance or disease resistance and grafts onto it a piece of sexually mature budwood called scion wood from a mother tree of a known cultivar. The end result is a tree that is an exact clone of the mother tree on a rootstock that provides benefits I previously mentioned. Most fruit tree seeds do not grow true to type. Each seed inside a fruit usually produces a new unique tree. For example, if I planted every seed inside of this apple right here, every apple tree that grows will be totally different and random, just like every human child is a random mix of mom and dad. So if you were to grow a fruit tree from seed, you may wait a very long time to find out that your tree produces low quality fruit. When you graft a tree, you are getting a clone of a known named cultivar. Named cultivars are saved for a reason. They're a needle in a haystack tree that is so good, it is worth saving and spreading. Because we are cloning a known cultivar, we are guaranteed high quality fruit. Grafted trees are almost always going to be good or they wouldn't be worth propagating in the first place. But the biggest reason to grow grafted fruit trees is time. Just like humans, trees must reach sexual maturity before they can flower and produce fruit. Seed grown trees usually take 10 to 15 years before they become sexually mature. It is possible that some seeds may produce an early bloomer that fruits more quickly, but generally speaking, you will be waiting a long time for your seed grown trees to produce any kind of fruit. Because grafting takes sexually mature wood from a mother tree and attaches it onto a young rootstock, the tree you get is actually the sexual age of the mother tree. Therefore, grafted trees can fruit right away. Instead of waiting 10 to 15 years for a seed grown tree to bear fruit, you usually get fruit within one to two years. As soon as the fruit tree feels that its roots are anchored well enough, they begin to bloom because they are already sexually mature. Take this itchy Kike Jiro persimmon. It's a little tree entering its third season and it is covered in hundreds of flowers. Even though it's only three years old, it's fruiting like it's a decades old tree because the sexual age of the budwood technically is. As a result, I'm getting a monster harvest right away, which is why grafted fruit trees rule. But in some cases, this can be a problem. This fruit tree that you see right here is a brand new addition to my yard. It is a coffee cake Asian persimmon. And I just planted this as a bare root fruit tree back in February, barely two months ago. So this tree is just starting to wake up and has no root development at all anchoring it down. Yet it has decided to flower. This little fruit tree is flowering profusely even though most of the buds haven't even opened yet. And this is a major problem because this fruit tree probably thinks it's 20, 30, 40 years old, whatever the age of the mother tree is, so it's trying to produce fruits when really it's just this little twig. Because this fruit tree was just planted, we wanted to spend 100% of its energy putting down strong roots and also providing vegetative growth to get big and strong. And these flowers are sapping the energy from this tree. In fact, if these were to form into fruits, it could be so stressful at this stage, it could set it back years or outright kill it. So I know this is going to be tough to do, but we want to make sure that we remove all of these flowers this year and more than likely next year as well because again we want 100 percent of the energy for the immediate future to go into establishing this tree these flowers of are of absolutely no good to us right now so painfully we must pick them all off so when growing a grafted tree, don't let them bear fruit the first two seasons. If the tree tries to flower, pluck them off. We want to ensure the tree spends all of its energy developing strong roots and strong branching first. While it is tempting to want it to fruit immediately, it's better for the tree overall and you'll get way larger harvests in the long run. And by the way, this is why grafted fruit trees are actually cheaper than seed grown fruit trees in the long run. While a grafted tree may cost more up front, it begins paying you back on your investment immediately. Seed grown trees can cost you 10 years of pruning, fertilizing, compost,
composting, mulching, and just taking up space before they begin to pay you back. Grafted fruit trees are like early retirement by comparison. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications. And check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.